Hello, this video is part of KCube's initiative to publish open screencast series for Quantum GIS. The objective of the screencasts is to provide user-friendly tutorials to learn Quantum GIS. In this session, we will give an introduction to Quantum GIS graphical user interface. When QGIS starts, the following window is presented to the user as shown in this presentation. The QGIS GUI is divided into six areas. the menu bar, the toolbar, the map legend, the map view, map overview and the status bar. We will see each of this section in detail now. The first one, the menu bar. The menu bar provides access to various QGIS features using a standard hierarchical menu. Following are some of the standard menu items available. The file menu bar contains features related to creating a new QGIS project or open existing projects, save projects and also you can save the map canvas as an image and also you can do beautiful map composition using the print composer and you can exit. The edit toolbar contains uh, tools related to editing the vector spatial layer and all these features will be enabled only when the layer is in edit toggle mode. The view toolbar contains tools to do map navigation and then like as tools to do selecting features, identifying features measurement tools, area, line and angle measurements, then like managing bookmarks and contains tools to manage panels, toolbars and also as live GPS tracking capabilities. The layer toolbar contains tools to display various layers, various vector layers, raster layers, PostGIS layer, spatial late layer, WMS layer, and also has capabilities to create new shapefile layer, new spatial light layer. Uh, you have raster calculator using which you can do raster calculations, map calculator, which is a powerful tool to do raster manipulation. And to query the attribute data and to view all the attributes, you have open attribute table and then like you can use the query feature to query the attribute table. You can convert the layer from one vector format to other vector format using save as feature and then like you can select specific features and then like save it to in another vector file. So you can add layers to overview panel and also you can hide and various layers. You can view the layer properties and do symbology and various other uh, properties for each layers and you can do labeling using the labeling toolbar. Settings toolbar menu bar contains tools to set project level properties, global level properties, manage custom CRS, keyboard shortcuts and style manager. Plugins toolbar. Plugins actually make QGIS powerful and various core plugins and third party external plugins can be accessed through this menu. You also have Python console where you can execute Python code the available Python bindings for QGIS API. The vector menu contains various analysis, research, geoprocessing, geometry and data management tools using which you can do extensive vector spatial analysis and vector data manipulation. Help contains a detailed help of all the functionalities that is available in the system. The next is the toolbars. This section you see various toolbars over here. The toolbars provides access to all the functions as the menus plus additional tools for interacting with the map. Each toolbar has a pop-up help available. Hold your mouse over the item and a short description of the tools purpose will be displayed. Toolbars can be moved and docked to wherever you wish and you can place it in position that is comfortable for you. 
You can also enable and disable toolbars by right clicking on the toolbar on any space over here. Just do a right click and then you can like enable toolbars that is required for you or disable toolbars that is not required for you. I'll just enable map navigation. It has been disabled and now I'll go ahead and enable the map navigation toolbar. The next section in the GUI is the map legend area. This is used to set visibility of various layers and also Z ordering is maintained. Z ordering means the layers listed nearer the top of the legend are drawn over layers that are listed down in the legend. The checkbox in each legend entry can be used to show or hide the layer. You can just checkbox and check it to dis to remove the display and check it again to add the display. Layers can also be grouped. Just do a right click, do add group, give a name. We'll create one more group. Now to add layers to this group, just click the layer that you want to move to group and then like drag into its corresponding folder. It's similarly like you can then move. Now you can enable disable at group level and corresponding layers gets enabled and disabled. You can also do multiple selection of layers by doing control and then clicking the mouse and then you can either remove or you can move layers between various groups. Then you can do a right click on this layer menu to enable the context menu. Just click on any particular layer and enable right click to display the context menu for that particular layer. The context menu varies from the type of the layer that you have. For example, like for a raster, this might be different and for WMS, this might be different. So it varies from layer to layer. Map view. So this is the map view. This is the main area in QGIS where all the vector or raster maps are displayed. This is also called as map canvas. Any operation that you performed through menu bar or toolbar or through legend is reflected directly in the map canvas. The next is the map overview. The map overview panel provides a full extent view of all layers added to it. If the overview panel is not available, enable it through right click in toolbars. Just go and right click in toolbars. Right now the overview panel is enabled. In case if you don't see, just go over here and right click and enable overview so that you see this overview panel on the leftmost corner. To add layers to overview panel, just right click on any layer and then click show in overview. To add all the layers to overview panel, just go to layer and click add all to overview. You can also move this rectangular window and similarly like the navigation, the map view panel is updated. Next is the status bar. The status bar displays the current coordinates where the mouse pointer is being displayed in map canvas. The scale of the map that is being displayed and the map rendering option to enable or disable rendering option is can be controlled over here. You see a small icon in the last using which you can set the coordinate reference system for this particular project.
you can also like view the extent of the current zoom by clicking on this toggle button and also the status bar displays the progress of the rendering when you render huge data sets and also displays if there are any plugin updates that is available over here so in a nutshell this these are all the various sections of quantum gis gui which is a very user friendly interface we have come to the end of this video tutorial and if you have any queries or doubts you can send us an email at qgas iphone support at kcubeconsulting.com or you can go to the qgas user community or forums from where you will get immediate support thank you this video is released under creative commons license and can be redistributed or reused with due credit given thank you